All right, gonna give this a shot. I am not a YouTuber or a parts reviewer, but I am lazy and taking a bunch of pictures and making notes to what to post about just seemed like a lot of work. So I'm gonna do this via video. So this is the Scenix, Scenix four-stroke chainsaw. There's actually valves under here. Uh, bought it just as a novelty. It's a $200, $170, dollars so I'm not expecting any serious work out of it. Um, it doesn't feel like a particularly serious saw, other than being heavy like my still. Um, this one's kind of interesting. You've got the uh, engine oil. Let's see if I can zoom in. Nope, I'm stuck right here. Okay, got the engine oil filler here. And... There's some residue in there. It's been maybe test run. Bar oil is over here. And that one. Oh, I can't see in there. Nope. That one is dry. Nothing in there. You can see the gasket between the case halves, though. It's interesting. It is metal case. Muffler is not discolored, so if it got run, it didn't get run long. What else we got? Armor plate? I don't think so. No, that's disconnecting. Interesting anti-vibe there, the springs. Over here, we have just a straight gas can. Gas tank, nothing. That's interesting. There's well, that looks dry too. It smells ever so slightly. Maybe, maybe fuel, but I would say more likely just plastic off gassing. I don't see any residue on the cap. That feels chintzy. That feels kind of like a 3D printed type part. Primer bulb. Let's check the air clean. We'll screen air cleaner. It looks like a couple of clips. I won't try too hard. That must be choke. Auto set. Okay. So auto set choke. Clips and then pull that up. Go the other. Oh, there we go. Oof, just a screen air filter. Framing you, yeah. And see right through that. Oh, I'm not too keen on the air filter there. But again, homeowner level saw. Probably not expecting it to have to be changed at all. What else we got there? What else? Came with a tool ish. <laughs> uh, Torx. Looks like two different size, two T25, T15, something like that. I'm not really good at the small talk. I'm sure I could talk about something to fill this space. Oh, the manual. Um, the manual says change the engine oil after eight hours. Um, initial fill is with this stuff that came with it. Doesn't say what kind of oil it is. Manual doesn't say, and obviously the bottle doesn't say. Um, this is the initial fill. It says change it after eight hours. It doesn't say what to put in it after the eight hours. Um, I'm assuming 10W30, 10, 5W30, something like that. Probably contact customer service and oop, bumped my rigged up tripod. Sorry about that. You think this voids the warranty? Probably. Kind of keen to see the valves on a chainsaw though. 
So yeah, back to the oil. Um, initial fill, change after eight hours, doesn't say what kind of oil and what the change interval is after that eight hours. So I'm gonna guess homeowner saw, they're not expecting it. 99.5% of these are never going to get to eight hours of runtime. Hopefully this gasket's reusable. That whole piece right there is the gasket. That's interesting. Well, there we have it. Isn't that cute? Little teeny tiny. I should have pulled the smart plug to do this. I think I'll do that. like a torch brand. Everybody's favorite Chinese eel. Oh yeah, definitely test run. Get it over into the light a little better here. Torch CMR 5H. I'm sure that crosses to something. It looks an awful lot like my little Honda generator plugs. Empty again. Back to the frame. I am not good at this. There you have it, folks. The valves on a chainsaw. Got oh, but that's chintzy. Yeah, this is not a long running motor. I'm kind of curious how it boils these. That one's awfully loose. There's no way that's right. There's no way. Oh, you know what? It's got a lot of side to side movement, but up and down is just fine. I bet you that's about right. I'm sure there's a machinist that could feel that and tell me it's between 10 and 15 thou, but that's not me. Okay, back together. Like four same length bolts, screws, and then one slightly shorter for the cover. Oh, that's a pain. I am not a YouTuber, I can tell. Anybody want to guess on what the torque specs are? Right about there. Having a care not to over tighten. I would rather have an oil leak than bust something. Chinesium strips out easy. Let's put the spark plug back in. Oh, I wonder if I can get a view of the cylinder going up and down. Piston going up and down. It's definitely been test run. I think I can see it, but I don't think you guys are going to see a thing. Yep, that are indeed a piston going up and down. Looks like some decent spring type anti vibe there. Feels mostly solid, but it is definitely a homeowner type saw. Next. You can see the glass fiber in it. Oh, it's right there. It says PA6, glass fiber 30%. Yep. Lost 
That's my screw. Man should keep track of his screws. Oh, let's just hit see there. It's got actually a capture, so it's kind of... That's why it felt weird. It wasn't threading in right. Sorry for doing this off camera. There's just no room over there. Again, folks, I am not a YouTuber. If ever that wasn't evident enough. and hopefully get it down there. That feels better. I hope. Should be tightening any time there. There we go. Chinesium always makes me nervous. Okay. Put you guys back in the frame. I'm pretty sure anybody watching this knows how to hook an air filter cover back on. Probably better than I do. Alright. What kind of bars? I have my chain. 16 inch. Oh, that's awfully tight, but new chain. And once it warms up, that's probably fine. Cheap consumer organ chain. I mean, it, it is what it is. What do I do with the scratch? There we go. Look, two bar nuts. Sorry, folks, it's kind of awkward. Got a camera right in my face. That dog right there, man, they're they have high hopes. You know, you need all that digging in power for a 16 inch bar. Let's see, yeah, come off to have nope, loosen. Where is the chain? Is that it? There we go. Outboard clutch. See that there's a little tiny pinion in there. At least it's not toolless. Like it's it is a legitimate chain tensioner. We'll see how that works out. Yep, it's a clutch. It's got a safety. That is legitimately all the carrying I'm gonna give that one. I'm just glad it has a legitimate chain tensioner. Not one of those toolless abominations. Folks, I apologize. I am not a YouTuber or a reviewer. So for those of you interested in a four-stroke saw, yeah, that's about right. You're welcome to go buy your own if you don't like this. Alright, right, let's put some oil in it. Old 10% rule. Childproof caps, it's sealed. I'm going to email customer service about what kind of oil this is supposed to take and what exactly the oil change interval is. It's kind of important information. 
Caution. Yeah. Ownership of that one. I got it. Don't think I'll need that. Supposed to take the whole hundred milliliters. fill up and then bubble down a little bit. The fact that it has to release some bubbles from the filler here gives me hope that I got that valve cover gasket on properly. Looks like it's going to take all of it. Insert 12 year old fart joke here. Good enough for me. Oop. Oh, that's not going to work. Do you know what kind of metal grinding grid I've got on this table? Oh, I'm going to go wipe that off. You think they would cover the warranty if I reflect grinding grid into the engine the first thing? That looks better. There's a gasket there. That's plastic. Hide. It's a homeowner saw, folks. Alright. Find some bar oil. See, if I was a real YouTuber, I'd have all this stuff ready. I'm going to try and do this on camera without making a big old mess, but I think we all know that's not going to happen. Well. Oh, Barrow, do your thing. Not that cold out here. Yes, I use a gas can for a bar oil can. It has an actual vent in the back. Back when gas cans were made as gas cans for the EPA got involved. And usually there's not a camera in my face, and I'm only topping up a half emptied gas or bar oil tank so it doesn't take this long. Oh, there's the mess. We all knew that was going to happen. There we go. I was kind of surprised, but the other four stroke chainsaws I'd heard about used motor oil for motor of course, and then after a single pass through the motor they used that as bar oil. Which, uh, that's an elegant solution, and at the same time when your bar oil goes kaput, so does your motor, which is not an elegant solution. Try filling this, but I'm gonna give it a shot for you guys. I mean, I don't want to. Don't know that I want to try filling this on camera. Who am I fooling? You've all seen the essence. Chainsaws filled. All right. This is 
nothing but the finest non-ethanol premium. The double dose of stable. spilled drop but I haven't set the gas can down yet either. Right. I'm hoping that with use so oh, nope that managed to cost her to gas cap that saying something there. But I don't care for these threads. A little piece of schmoo. Yeah, I don't care for that. It's a home or saw, folks. There we go. Alright, primer bulb. Not guessing it. Was that 10? Let's do a couple more just in case. Pull the choke out. Oh, that's a momentary button. Hazards out of the way. Set the chain break. All right, I'm gonna try and start this right here, but uh, we'll see what happens. If it becomes too much of a hazard, I'm taking it outside. Yep, like that. All right. Feels weird cranking it. It doesn't feel like a normal chainsaw. It's not a normal chainsaw. Had to take the choke off. It coughed once. I turned turned the choke off. Still on high idle. All right. So it started. It was pulling against the chain brake. I get a little throttle and it died. I saw that in a couple of the other videos. So I'm gonna try starting it again and I'll turn off the chain brake. Ooh, that's got a kick to it. You better pull that like you mean business. Okay, pull it on choke, turn the choke off, so it goes to high idle, try it again. There, folks probably a wood cutting video to come might take it out and stick it in the wood but I don't feel like dragging out a chainsaw or dragging out a, a, a tripod that's what I'm looking for I don't feel like dragging out a tripod um, but yeah I'll let you know how it goes thanks for watching any questions put them in the comment section I'll try and get to them um, yeah I am NOT a youtuber once again